At the beginning of April, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention officially recommended the use of face masks in public. Across the nation, healthcare and hospital workers report ongoing shortages of personal protective equipment, including face masks. I have to be wearing a mask at all times when I'm at my client's home. Um, I was only allowed to get 12 from my office at a time, um, which is rarely about half a box. Um, and they told us that we are able to reuse the mask five times, but that's probably about once a day, <laughs> one mask a day that I can use. While the recommendation and guidelines are for homemade cloth masks, shelves and stores remain empty. The CDC also recommended these guidelines to make sure your face mask is doing the job. It must fit snugly but comfortably against the side of your face, be secured with ties or ear loops, include multiple layers of fabric, allow for breathing without restriction, and be able to be laundered and machine dried without damage or change to the shape. Bandanas have become a common replacement for face masks. Many opt for the traditional triangle fold, but if you want a little more protection, fold it over a couple more times before putting it around your face. Another common way to use a bandana is to fold it into thirds, put a rubber band on each side, and then take the ends and tuck one inside the other. Then pull the rubber bands so that they're loose enough to go around your ears. And there you are. Have a face mask. Kittitas Valley Hospital is also being affected by the shortage of personal protective equipment and is reaching out to the community for donations of homemade cloth face coverings and other PPE. For more information, visit their website. From Ellensburg, Kathy Calderon, Central News Watch.